Hello everyone, my name is Holly and I'm here to go over vocabulary regarding the computers and the internet. So this will be a vocabulary focused class. Um, we'll look through vocabulary, we'll decide whether we know them and try to use them. So that is the plan for today. Um, again, my name is Holly and I'm from Idaho in the USA and it is 9 p.m. here in Idaho. Um, let me show, quickly show you the plan for today. I'm going to go through a, a worksheet called Computers and the Internet. We have uh, talk about software and hardware and different vocabulary. We also talk about the icons. We'll try to, uh, try to figure out which one of these icons are these words. And what do we do with these icons? We'll uh, try to use some words in a sentence, uh, talk about types of websites and, and what, what, what websites you will uh, visit. We'll, we'll talk about those. And then also we'll try to guess some websites and so forth. So that's kind of the plan today. Um, for those of you who like to be on the computer and work on the computer, it should be a fun class for everyone. So hi, Julia, how are you? Hi. Hi. Question, is your name pronounced Yulia or Julia? Oh. I'm sorry? Hello, Holly. Oh, hi. Okay, how are you? I can hear you now. <laughs> is your I'm... name... Great. I'm getting actually quite tired, so I'm, I'm like going, oh, it's time for bed. <laughs> so a couple more hours, I'll take a nap. So is your name Yulia or Julia? Yulia. Yulia, okay. Are you from uh, Germany or where are you from? No, I am from Colombia. Colombia, I'm okay. From Colombia, so okay. South America, yes. Okay, so because I you? know I'm from Idaho in the USA. Yeah. Um, Idaho is up in the northwest. Um, I, I know that Yulia is also uh, pronounced that way in Germany as well, in German language. Uh, uh, I knew a, a girl oh, from yeah. Austria with the same name and the same pronunciation. But in English, we pronounce it Julia. Okay. So, yeah. Julia. 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 Uh, excellent. I can, I, can, I can pronounce that, I think. <laughs> So, are, yes. Are you are you new in 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 Berlin? Um, not anymore. Um, I've been I've st I started about a month ago, and so I have. Uh, uh, yeah. But I don't think I've I'm not sure I've taught at this hour before. I think this is the first time. I usually teach before this time mm -hmm. and after this time. So, so have you been around Verbling for a long time? Uh, one month. One month. Okay, me too. We just haven't um, run into each other. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's introduce ourselves. Okay. So, okay. can you tell me about yourself first, and I'll tell you about uh, myself. Okay, I am uh, an electrical engineer. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I work in a consultant engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And uh, I, I and I eat English for for my job. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was I speaking to earlier today? That's a an engineer out of Colombia. Can't remember. Maybe Civil just engineer. because uh, yes, because we 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 in the in our company we okay. many many person are are taking this class. Oh, okay. So, um, there's, because I, I know it's several people from Colombia um, yes. that, uh, but I can't remember her name. But anyway, yeah, there's been several. Excellent. Um, well, I, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, okay. Uh, I've been, uh, first of all, I've had a cold, and that's one of the reasons I look so tired. <laughs> so, 
Um, but I, 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 last weekend, um, my voice was going, and I was teaching, and my voice would be, uh, uh, so sometimes oh, I have yeah. to stop and cough. So, um, but anyway, I am originally from Idaho, yeah. in the USA, and um, I have actually lived in Finland. And I lived there for okay. 11 years, uh -huh. and I lived in oh. uh, South Korea uh, for just under two years, and um, I came back to the States about um, five years ago because I, I learned I could teach online. So I've done a, a several other, other types of jobs, but my main... Uh, main job since uh, 1994 has been uh, teaching English. So I started in 1994, um, and mm -hmm. that's been my main focus. 2006 uh, is when I started teaching online. So that's a little uh, about me professionally. Huh? Excuse me? Hello? Hello, hello. hello. Okay, good. Okay, you're here. Yes. And you, you like to teach? Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I did stop uh, for a little while a few years ago, and, mm -hmm. um, and I was only teaching one or two hours a week every few months, not all the time. And then I, last July, about two months, I, I took some time off what I was doing, and had to think, what do I really want to do? And um, I've always been happiest when I teach English, so I came back to teaching English. So. And you like more more by by internet or, or person? Um, I like. Uh, hmm. Well, right now, uh, the only choice I have right now is uh, internet because I live in a small. Uh -huh small a town. We have 850 uh -huh. people uh -huh. in this town. And so um, I, the u local university is about f uh, an hour away and it's very, it's highly competitive. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure mm. if I, if I were to go to the university and teach, I um, would want to move there. So I don't, I don't want to drive an hour. So uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I am actually quite uh, quite passionate about online teaching. I started training teachers in two thousand nine about online teaching. So Wilson, welcome. How are you today? Mm. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm fine. And and can where you are you? Can you hear me? I, yes, I can hear you. Great. Uh, where are you from, Wilson? I am from Colombia. Colombia, okay. Are you Yulia's colleague? Wilson. Do you guys know each other? Mm, no. No. No, okay. So you both are from no. Colombia. <laughs> no. Well, so welcome. Ah, okay, thank you, Barry. Welcome. Yeah, I was just get, I was just introducing myself quickly to uh, Yulia. And um, I wrote it on the Verbling chat, um, and she asked me if I liked online teaching or face-to-face -face teaching better, and uh, I like them both the same. Uh, to me, there isn't a lot of difference um, with when you teach in a company or if you uh, teach online. Uh, there's some differences, but not enough. So, um, but anyway. Uh, today we are going to have, this is a vocabulary class, um, and so, um, Wilson, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Mm, okay, I am uh, from Colombia, I am a worker, uh, I work for a technology company, uh -huh. mm. Uh, what else? No, I have my family, my wife, and some friends, and no uh -huh. more. Okay, excellent. And oh, um, I have a dog. Do you guys have any dogs? Um, no. Th this is this is my dog. 
Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and he was at, he was actually he was born in Hungary. <laughs> and um then he he moved to Finland um and he lived in Finland for uh, uh 6 years. Uh -huh. And um and then it, during that time it, um he uh it is a stud, he was a stud dog. Um, a stud dog means uh, a daddy dog. He made babies, baby dogs, <laughs> puppies. Mm -hmm. So he yeah. had, um, he had, I think, three to four litters, which is the groups of uh, of puppies in Finland, and um, and now he he moved to the U.S. the USA. Mm -hmm. He has um, he has had one litter. And now I have retired him. <laughs> so now he's uh, he's a senior dog, senior dog, and and is retired. You guys know the word retired? Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's a retired dog. So <laughs> anyway, that's that's him. But. Hi Mauricio. Mauricio, how are you? Uh, hi teacher. So uh, where are you calling from, Mauricio? I'm calling from Colombia. Colombia as well. Okay. So this is a Colombia group. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is Yulia Mia, and Wilson from Colombia. Oh. So, and I actually visited Colombia 5 years ago. I was in Bogota for 4 days. <laughs> wow. And I went there for a, a, a quick business trip, and it was, it was actually very, very nice. I've actually looked into possibly moving back, <laughs> moving there, because wow. I, I was so yeah. impressed with the climate, and the mm -hmm. people, and, and things. So, are any of you guys from Bogota? No, yes, no. I, I am from Bogota. Are, you're from Bogota, okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, um, and same for me. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, it's it really depends on. Um, I've heard, I've learned that if uh, Colombia has different um, different areas, like one's a beach area, right, and then the mountain yeah. area, and uh -huh. so forth. Okay, yeah, but I was I was really impressed with it. But the verbling people from Brazil have convinced me that I should go down to Rio too. So. <laughs> I need to take a trip down there. <laughs> so, anyways, today's topic is on um, computers and internet. We're going to. This is a vocabulary, uh, uh, vocabulary heavy class, and so what we're going to do is talk about the vocabulary words, and then see if we can. Uh, we will eventually start talking about uh, internet sites. Um, so. Uh, uh, so let's just go ahead and just uh, start talking. What is the difference between software and hardware? Does anybody know? I know, teacher. Okay, could you tell us? Software is the is the program part, and the hardware uh -huh. is the physical part. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's let's uh, go through each of these vocabulary words and decide whether it's software or hard hardware. So. A hard drive is that software or hard drive or, or or hardware, Julia? Julia? A hardware. Uh, okay. Hardware. Okay. And um, a mouse um, is that uh, software or hard hardware, Mauricio? Um, I know it's is so, uh, hardware. Teacher, one question. Uh -huh. I just I just heard that you say. A mouse, so I can say a mouse or a mouse. Either way is okay. Yeah, a or a, no problem. I, I can't d tell the difference between you. What did you mm. say? You, you just I hear you, you, you that you say a mouse. Uh huh. And, and whole and Julia she says a mouse. So either oh. way is correct, no problem. Yeah, a and a are, are completely totally fine. You ah, can you can thing. pronounce. Right. Yeah, the, as far as pronunciation, the a uh, and the a. Um, and uh, that's so much. Uh, uh, I mean, that's something I would never notice when I'm hearing, listening to you all speak. 
So that's very good. Um, so a word processor, is that a, a hardware or a software? Um, Wilson. It's a software. Okay. Everybody agree? Yes. Okay. Key, a keyboard. As hardware? Yes. How about a pen drive? Hardware. It's also hardware. Do you guys know what is a pen drive? I don't know, but it looks like a hardware. <laughs> yeah, it is hardware. Where <laughs> so it's it's very good, very good. It's like it's like a thumb drive. Do you guys have you heard the word thumb drive before? No, I know. Me neither. Thumb drive? No, I didn't. I haven't heard about that. But a pen drive is a device where you can store some information. Ah. Uh. So. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's one of these. They're, I don't think they're used as much as they used to be. Uh, ten years ago, they were used more. Now, with, since we have the cloud services, they're not as used as much. So, but another word I have you heard is it, it's called a thumb drive. Um, so, okay. Oh, and, and, Jen, sorry. Yes. We call it, is that right? We call it memory. Memoria. Is that right? Another one. Yeah, memory stick. Oh, okay. Memory stick. It's the same. Yeah. Memory oh, okay, stick, okay. thumb drive, pen drive. All of, there's so many words for that one. <laughs> so, and I'm sure every country has another word that you guys use. So, next one, an antivirus. Uh, Yulia, do you know what that so, would be? Uh, software. software. Yes, exactly. Okay, a laser printer. Hardware. Hardware. How about a, a scanner? Hardware. Application? Software. Yes. <laughs> we're, going, we're going through real, this really quick because I think it's all basic. A media player. Hardware. Is it? Media like player? No, software. Software, because software. Software, if you think of like Microsoft Media Player or iTunes. Oh. So iTunes would be a, considered a, a media player. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, a spreadsheet. Software. Software, and then um, then an operating system. So software. Okay. You're with me. Okay, and software. Okay, so which of the above devices or programs would you use to make a copy of your screen on paper? Uh, a scanner? No. A copy of the screen. On paper. No, 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 no. The, the machine, the laser printer. Yeah, yeah, it's a printer, a laser printer. Yeah. Laser printer. Okay. And um, next one. Um, see. Uh, make a copy of a sheet of paper on your screen. Uh, a scanner, no? Scanner, yeah. I think it would be better if it, you would have put make a copy of a photo and that transfers to your screen. <laughs> you know, mm. a paper photo. Okay, store data and transfer it to another computer. The mem the the memory stick, the... Yes, yeah, the pen drive or the memory stick the or the thumb drive. drive. Yeah. Okay. Protect your computer from harmful, harmful programs. An antivirus. Okay, so we say anti an, or anti uh, virus. Anti virus. Virus is how we, we say it. Okay. Can Double you, click. Can you, sorry, can you repeat? Yes. Antivirus or you, antivirus? You say there's two pronunciations for this word anti, and this this some people say anti. Uh, anti. And, anti. Anti. And some people say anti. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Both pronunciations are correct. Yeah. Antivirus. Oh. Antivirus or antivirus? I say antivirus. 
Antivirus. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, double click on an icon. What would you use? Uh, what thing would you you use to mouse, double click mouse, on an mouse. icon? A mouse. Okay. A mouse. Okay. okay. Um, play music or videos. A media, media player. player. Yes, a media player. Exactly. Okay. And type out an email or document. The keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. And calculate your monthly expenses. An operating system. No. No. Something else. Looks like they have twelve words and eight sentences. So, what what would you use to put? Accountants use, project managers use this. Maybe engineers use it a lot. Any idea? How about a spreadsheet? Ah, Excel or something yeah. like that? Yeah, Excel or something like that. So to calculate your monthly expenses, is to, is a spreadsheet. Do you, do you understand, everyone? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like as soon as you see it, you go, "Oh yeah, of course." <laughs> okay, so let's talk about these. Do you use all of the these this hardware and software? Um, how often do you use uh, a media player, for example, Wilson? So how often do you use a media player? Wilson? Okay, maybe he's having problems with his mouse and with his audio. Um So Amaricio, how about you? Every day when I uh, put YouTube or something when I play YouTube or YouTube? watch YouTube. Yeah. Okay. All right, and and how about you, Yulia? How often do you use a media player? Uh, only uh, one time on the on on a week on the week. So once uh, a week, okay. Yes. Once a week, when? In in sa Saturday and and Sunday. Okay. And so on the weekend, or you can say yes. during the weekend, during the weekend. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. And um, like I, I rarely use a media player. Um, sometimes I watch YouTube, but not very often. So, and how about how often do you guys use a pen drive? Wilson, are you able to speak? Okay, maybe maybe he's been called away from his computer. Mauricio, how often oh. do you use a pen drive? Uh, uh, like, um, well, right now I'm not using it too much because I'm working in my computer and I'm mm -hmm. not going out. So I'm not using it too much. But before, last year, I used to use uh, a pen drive like uh, every day in my job. Ah, right now, okay. Not. not much now. Okay, how about you, Yulia? No, 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 so often. Okay, not so often. Okay, no. so you, you can say not so often, or what I say is rarely. Rarely, yes. At, at one time, I used to use uh, pen drives all the time, but um, now I use it. It's very rare for me. Okay, now we've got these. Uh, for some reason, they didn't print this right. Uh, so it says, look at the icon set below, which is right here. And then uh, match it with these words. So let's see if we can figure out what these words mean, what these are. And I'll write it down. One, what does this icon mean on a computer? Right? No, I don't know. I don't know either. What? I haven't even seen that icon. <laughs> I know. It's like, well, let's. Uh, 
I hated that. <laughs> and let's, yeah, let's let's compare this with Microsoft Word. Bear with me a moment. Let's open up Microsoft Word and see. Look at the different icons. Okay. Okay, we've got these icons right here, and I can. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Okay. Okay, so we've got these right here, and. Let's go to where we actually use it. Um, Word document. Are they actually the same? <laughs> That's my question. Okay, blank document. Okay. Wow, but may, I wonder if these icons are more on a um, like a blog posting type thing. Oh, well, the icons there, I have never seen it. Maybe it's another operating system feature because I don't. Know. Yeah. I think well, it, but I don't so, know. some of these I've seen, like this one right here. Mm. Number number four is cut. Maybe it's in a Linux operating system or something, you know. Possibly, yeah. It, um, let me but think, think like, at WordPress. That one, that one with all the stars, you see there is some stars there in the last one. Uh -huh. you know, in the column. What is that? I have never seen that. I don't know. Let, well, let's, let's, go over, let's go over what they all are then, according to this. Um, yes. You see, that's so weird, you know. Maybe it's, it's, a, it's another version. It's 2017 version. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. The one. Could you think this could be browse? Yeah, that thinking. one is browse. Yeah. And this one, of course, is is folder. Okay. Uh, yeah. This one. Print is nine. Nine is print. Yeah, this one's print. So we can get. We can figure out some of them. Browse. Print. And this might, I wonder if 12, this is calendar. I think they really made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, teacher. Mm. I need to let them know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the people who wrote this, I'm going to say, ah, yeah. there's a problem here. <laughs> and this is, this should, this really should be right. Um, you know, you want to write something, or ed maybe it's edit. It could be edit. Mm -hmm. This is this is probably save, and delete. So, as long as it, and as I write these words, tell me if um, you don't know the words. This and to copy. This is probably two is copy. Yeah. Four is cut. Three. This one's paste. This one's help. Help. That is help. No. That's not like. So. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, this one would be help, actually, wouldn't this one be? Yeah, maybe. Eleven. That's help. Eleven. Maybe that's help. Eleven. At thirteen. Must be like a. Um, what is it? When you put it in the to the dump, what is the garbage? The truck, what is it? Oh, is yeah, that could be trash, junk. Trash. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Trash. Trash or junk, yeah. And I wonder what eight would be, this one. Or this one could be help, too. Look, it has a question mark. Yes, yes. Okay, so, yeah, these are not... Uh, so probably what happened, whoever wrote this, just went to some editor and copied it and didn't realize it was un was not universal. <laughs> but anyway, so do you guys know all of these words? That's the, the purpose for this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's go through this. Um, I, I want to go to types of websites. Okay, so let's match the type of website on the left with the activities on the right. 
and I'm going to read the, the website, types of websites, and I want each of you to read uh, the types of activities, and we, then we will match it. And then I want to have a discussion uh, and for us to talk about where what you guys do when you are going to the Internet. Okay, so number one is social networking sites. Number two, blogs. Number three, forums. Four, auction websites. Five, five sh file sharing websites. Six, search engines. Seven, e-learning websites. And eight, web mail sites. Okay, so A, uh, could, um, Yulia, could you read that? And then uh, tell us what the answer would be, if you can, if you know it. Buying and selling goods by bidding prices. Mm -hmm. Prices, or we would also say bidding on prices. Yeah, bidding mm -hmm. prices, bidding, bidding, bidding on products. Bidding on products. Yeah. Any idea what that one would be? Any any guess? Maybe four. <laughs> yep, so uh, an auction website. Do you guys all know what an auction website is? Uh, okay, Mauricio, can you tell, um, you give Yulia an example of an auction website? For example, eBay, eh, uh -huh. Mercado Libre in Colombia. Uh, ah, yes. yeah. All right. What is it in Colombia? eBay, eh, Mercado Libre is the one in Colombia. They call it Merca Mercado Libre. Mercado Libre? Mercado Libre, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I, I know that um, eBay is more or less the international one, mm. uh, but I know that every country has their own. So, okay. Um, so, B, Mauricio, can you read that? Co connecting with friends, sharing pictures will be number one. Number one, okay. And so what would, a, what would an example be for that? Facebook or Twitter, all that. Okay, so uh, for you guys, what f social networking sites do you belong to? I have I have Facebook. Facebook, and Yulia. Facebook. Facebook as well, yeah, and yes. I have I have Facebook. I the last class uh, a couple hours ago, I did a class on social networking, and we went through mm -hmm. the vocabulary, and we realized that I was the biggest geek because I belonged to actually every one of the. It's social networkings we can think of. <laughs> so, okay, and I also have two blogs as well. So, um, okay, so D C doing courses online. Um, three. E learning with with seven. Okay, e learning. Okay, so that would be C. Be learning and have you guys studied online very long? No. No. Okay. In, by internet? No. No. Uh -huh. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. And Mauricio, have you studied online very long? Yeah, like uh, two years already. Uh huh. Oh, okay. well, three years. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. But now only here in Berlin, man. I, here in Colombia too, we have universities online and. Uh huh. I like, uh, uh huh. So you, you've ta you've taken some university classes online as well. Yep. Um, do do you, do you find that um, most of students like it or do they not like it? Well, you need discipline because it's like an, uh, a self process. How do you call it? Yeah, self process. Uh, where you have to study a lab by yourself. Mhm. Mm it's called uh, self study. Self study. Okay. Self study yeah. and yeah, that's what you need. You know, motivation mm -hmm. and. But nobody's gonna be like there, like okay, you can do it. You know, you, you have to be so disciplined and do it by yourself. Yeah, you have to be disciplined. That's exactly the right, right way. I got um, a, a university degree uh, strictly online, and it was before VoIP, and it was in the early 2000s. And wow. And so we had we did, um, and I got I got a master's degree before that, and then mm -hmm. I got this one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it's it's. I've been very blessed as far as education, but what I found interesting is the traditional t traditional classes to the lectures, and because of that, depending on the on, on the professor, I didn't have to read the textbooks, right? And um, 
I did I did fine. I did very well. And then when I took the online degree, I had to read all the textbooks because oh. everything was writing and you had to sound smart. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I had to I I had to work harder for the online degree even though people and it, it's interesting because some people do not consider online degrees as um as good as traditional face to face. And in my experience I studied more <laughs> and I That's worked true. harder. So It's true. Yeah, cuz you can fake it in face to face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one. Downloading, uploading large files, e.g. music and films. Which one would that be? Mm, blocks? No. Mm, file sharing websites. File, sh file sharing website. Has any of you guys ever used one of the, the these file sharing websites? I'm not. No. Okay, I, I'm, no, I okay, I'm again the biggest geek in the room. <laughs> so, mm. when I was in Finland, I went to file sharing websites and I downloaded a, a, an entire TV series. Wow, like one? Can you can you tell me uh, one? Of I don't, them? I, I don't, don't know. It was, it would have been in 2007, oh. 2008. I don't oh. remember them now because they are against the law in in the U.S. Oh, I, I I remember one for chair. That's one because I had downloaded some documents too. It's called uh -huh. for chair. Those for like chair. That, you know? For yeah. chair. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't even remember. I I uh, the ones I went to, and it, then of course there's also like say for example if you're trying to, um, if you're trying to send a colleague or um, send somebody a big document and it won't go through the traditional email. You have, mm. you guys ever heard of uh, transferbigfiles.com? Mm, yeah. No. Not me. So that's if you have a big file you want to transfer, mm. but you can't send it over email. And then, of course, we have Dropbox. You guys using any of the, either one of those? No. The I Dropbox. Yeah, sometimes uh, in my computer I put that message Dropbox, but I don't know exactly what it is, so I have never yeah. used that thing. Uh, what it is, say for example, I have every week um, I have a, a teacher at, in Mexico uh, record a class for um, for uh, students in Japan. Okay, and um, they and he what he does he he re records it with uh what what what's basically recording software and then he he sends it to me through Dropbox because it's too big to go through email so he drops it in his Dropbox and then he sends it over to me I get notification I'm able to download it and then I send it to the students in Japan. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, so that's that's an example of how it's used, um, and I've had, uh, for example, I've had a a language school send me textbooks and curriculum through through Dropbox as well. Hmm. So because this, in a regular email it's too too big, so it won't yeah. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Dropbox is you actually have a folder that you can use and you can keep it in your in the Dropbox. So if you change, um, it's it's similar to the cloud services. Have you heard of the cloud services? Yeah, yeah. I it's never similar. Heard, but I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and, and and like my com the computer that I have right now, um, that I'm using right now. Have you heard of? Have you ever heard of um, what's called the blue blue screen of death? No, I know. Screen of death, not me neither. What is that? That's when all of a sudden your entire your entire computer goes blue. And it says on there that uh, the computer has stopped because of an unknown error. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it happened to me four times last weekend. Oh, wow! So you have a virus, maybe. I, I don't know what I have, and so, um, so I put I put, what I did is I put everything on the cloud mm. that I didn't want to lose, and then I um. And I, I need a, needed a backup computer anyway, so I bought a new computer on Monday. Oh, yeah. I see. 
see, teacher, no. and how how do you put things uh, in? How do you say in the cloud or on the cloud? On the cloud. Well, what I did is I have um, three. Uh, I think it's I can't remember what it's called. It's I have Microsoft uh, three sixty five. It's called OneDrive. That's what I did. Um, and so I I use that. But there's all kinds that? of clouds. So so that's a cloud. Microsoft 365 is a cloud. Microsoft 365 is where you can enti you can get the entire Microsoft products mm -hmm. and everything for um, like a, a, a little like I pay fifteen dollars a month. Oh, and but I you can, have to pay. It's not for free. Yeah, it's not free. Yeah, and it, and you put it on for. F I have a. I can put it up to on five computers. Ah. So I can do all the Microsoft products for uh, five computers. But you have to pay fifteen dollars a month. Yeah, which is quite a lot. So. Oh, I thought the cloud is free. Isn't that yeah, free? some clouds are. Some clouds are. Um, it depends oh. on the uh, depends on the devices you have. I think that, like for example, Apple Apple Cloud Apple has a cloud too. I don't know what it's called though. Uh, okay. But uh, yeah, I'm a big I'm a big geek. Can you guys tell? <laughs> do you guys know that word? Yeah, it's like a, someone is like so involved with in something, in anything, in any area, right? Yeah, in, in any area. More with technology. Mostly technology, and it's uh -huh. I say it's a positive word, but some people consider it a, bit a negative word. So, <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next one. E, um, Yulia, can you read that one? Finding with size, with size, surfing the net. Okay, um, what is that? What would that be considered? With, um, search search engines. Search engines, exactly. Okay, so uh, any uh, I which search engines do you guys use? Google. Okay, um, yeah, I that's what I use as well. Do you do you use another one, Mauricio? Mozilla, Mozilla too. Okay, um, that's a, but Mozilla is a browser. Ah, uh, so it's different. Yeah, but this because I was thinking the same thing, and then when she answered Google, I realized, yeah, of course. <coughs> So with the browsers, we have what IE, <laughs> Google Chrome, oh. Mozilla. Um, Those are browsers. Um, and search engines are more Safari. like. So search engines are more like Google and what else? Yeah. Okay. There's. Um, well, let's let's. I'm gonna quickly. Bear with me a moment. Okay. This is geek. Can I, can this is geek this stuff. Is geek? This is geek stuff, yeah. Okay, where's the search engines? Wait a minute. Search engines. Okay, let's just type in search engines. Search engines. Okay, so there's Bing, oh. IX Quick Search Engine, DuckDuckGo. What's this? Duck, duck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you used this before? Never. Julia? No, DuckDuck, no. I've never heard it either. A search engine that doesn't track you. A superior search experience with smarter answers, less clutter, and real privacy. I might be interested in that. <laughs> Yahoo search, dogpile. So, so what's the difference between an uh, um, um, engine and uh, what is the engine and browsers? What is, what's the difference? Uh, there's no difference. It's the same. It's just, in English, it's, it would be the same for this type of. Um, a browser is basically the same, same kind of, same. We we call it, no. A, a, no I'm sorry. A search engine is. Uh, um, What's the difference? Yes, yeah, between a yeah. search engine and a browser. Engine and browser. Yeah, th there's a big difference. Bear with me. Let me show you. These are all the different search engines that we've had through the years. Okay. Um, in 1993, we had all these, which none of us even knew. Uh, we had Lyco's Info Search. Then um, Yahoo came in 1995. Mm -hmm. Ask Jeeves. These are all Google. Google surfaced in 98. Most of us have stayed with this one. 
Um, but these are all different search engines, okay? DuckDuckGo. Um, we've got Bing. Bing is a big player right now. Bing is one of the bigger players. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, this is a search engine where a browser um, is examples of browsers, search engines versus browser. Okay. So a search engine is usually on the browser. So, uh, so um, a browser is a program that takes all the various pieces of a website and puts them together so that you can see them as as a, a website. Okay. The top browsers in the U.S. today in use today is Google Chrome, Mozilla, IE, um, Safari, Opera. Those are search search in, those are um, go, um, browsers. Okay, search engines is a search engine uh, does what the name suggests. It searches for relevant websites based on keywords. If you want to know about something, you type it into the search engine, and it will give you thousands of websites that have one more or more of the keywords associated with them. So. <laughs> Okay, so it's like, but, but it's basically the same because that's what you do in Google too. Yeah, but see, the thing is, uh, Google Google, the, Chrome. Google Chrome is a browser, but Google is a search engine. So, so wait, when you look at information, what do you use? Do you use a search engine? A search engine or a browser? A browser. I mean, search engine. Okay, this is <laughs> search engine or browser. <laughs> let me give you. An, let me give you an example. Okay, I, I need to open up my computer. Bear, bear with me. Um, Show desktop icons. You prefer to use a, a, a search engine than a, than a browser? Yes? Uh, well, no, you have to use both. Let's see. Ah, okay. So, anyway, you use both. Uh, bear with me. I'm, try I'm trying to figure out how to show you this. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Real quick. Um, okay, down here. Do you see down here, right? Down here on the bottom of my computer? No, oh, I do. See your dog. You just see my dog and me. Okay. And yeah. I have not. Okay. Uh, bear with me a moment. I'm gonna close these out. Close these out. Okay. Um. Do you see down here, right, right here? Um. This right here is a search engine. Um. This is a search engine. Um. Uh. Um. Right here, uh, IE is a search engine. So Mozilla, Google, these are search engines, right? No, excuse me, I'm sorry. Confusion. You got me confused. Now you got me so confused. I got you confused. <laughs> okay. okay, these right here, this is a browser. This is a browser. Ah, okay. Okay. These, are, these are browsers. Good. Okay, now you open up the browser. You open up the browsers, and this is a search engine. So you could actually, um, and like, let me open up. Um, ah, when you open up a browser, it becomes a search engine. That's yeah, it, well, it, it depends. If you open up a browser, then the f one of the first things that it goes to is a search engine. So this one, um, oh. this is an okay. MSN <laughs> search engine right here. It's uh, it's a Bing search engine right here. But we could change it. Oops, what did I just do? I don't know what happened. <laughs> But the search the search engine is what's in the browser, and the search engine means you actually oh. you are you're you are finding um the finding comes within the browser. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's like the same thing. <laughs> Not really. It's like the same thing, but yeah. it, it feels like the same okay. thing. I bet. <laughs> it, and in in Spanish is it different? I don't know the difference. For me, it's the same. The same to you, yes, for you as well. As well. Just like, I mean, so so like, I mean, according to your example, the the search engine is just like a like a etiqueta. How do you say, like a label? And the search engine do the the job. So that's that's yeah, what I understand. You know. Yeah, but but say for example, uh, a search. A search engine is just a website that searches. 
a browser is how you get to the website. Oh, this is really frustrating. <laughs> uh, so that's that's okay. That's okay. As long as you know how to use All the right. internet, that's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sleep today, you know, with that. Oh, yeah, I, I'm going to have uh, nightmares. Nightmares. Today. Oh, what's the, <laughs> what's the difference between the search engine? And the... <laughs> yeah, so anyway, a browser, there's only about five or six browsers, okay? But there are uh, a lot of search engines. Okay. okay. So on your computer, you probably have... IE, all the computers come out come with IE, unless you use a Macintosh. Mm -hmm. And then you probably have Mozilla. Those are the two main uh, search engines. And I'm not screen sharing okay. again. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> so, but these are the ser search engines that you probably, are the browsers you have, IE and Mozilla. But and and Chrome, uh, Chrome is a, a search engine owned by Google. Excuse me, Chrome is a browser owned by Google. <laughs> oh, I can't speak English. Next up, next up. Oh look, uh, Rodrigo, thank you. Okay, look at this. Browser equals program. Rodrigo. Search engine. Uh, look Rodrigo. at the look at the verb link chat. Uh, Rodrigo has said browser equals program, search engine equals website. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rodrigo. I'm just oh. not very good at explaining it. <laughs> ah, so the, thank you, Rodrigo. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if, if I would have just done that instead of trying to show you. Thank you. I should have I should have just oh. looked at your... Now it makes sense. Now it may, thank you, Rodrigo, my man. Thank yeah, you yeah, thank you, Rodrigo. Now, if I would have just looked at what you wrote... A ten minutes ago, I would, <laughs> or five minutes ago, or whatever that was. Um, anyway, let's go through some more. Um, F, participating in discussions and posting comments on a specific topic. What what word is that in English? Forums. 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 Yeah. Talk Forums. Yeah, with Julia. Forums. Yes, definitely. Do you guys belong to uh, participate in any forums? By inter? The no. University, yeah. At university, you did? Okay. Yeah, I have to. Um, okay. All right. And, and G, sending and receiving emails. Which one is that? Is that a blog or a webmail site? Webmail sites. And what are some webmail sites that you guys can think of? Gmail, uh, which is Google Hotmail. Mail, <laughs> Hotmail, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo. Yeah. Um, there's a few more, but those are the main ones. Okay, and then the last one is a blog. Does anyone besides myself have a blog here? Mm, I don't have a blog. You know, no. the thing is that we Colombians, I don't uh -huh. know, but I think we don't like to write too much, you know. Uh -huh. We don't have blogs, we don't, I don't know, I have seen that. I know in the American culture, you guys uh -huh. like to, you know, to post things and, and, but I don't know, in Colombia I haven't yeah. seen many people with blogs. I don't know, Julia, uh -huh. if you know no. people like that, but... Yeah, I started my blog uh, in 1994, excuse me, in 2004. Oh, after wow. after my dad pa he passed away he died and he was kind of the communication hub of our family and so all we had to do was call dad and everybody would know everything okay because we all called dad he he was um uh he was retired and so we would all call him my mom did not like to talk on the phone and so after after dad passed away I would call her and I would never get her on the phone and so um, a friend was blogging and so I just I started blogging and I used it as a way to communicate with my family about my because I, I at the time I was I was living in Finland and oh. and that's what I did we used it and my mom started a blog and my 
um, my brother started one, uh, several of us, and my other brothers read our blogs. <laughs> and it was a way for our my, um, ex my nuclear family and my extended family to communicate. But now, uh, be because of... Um, uh, because of um, Facebook, and uh, it, we don't use it as much anymore. I still blog because I just I just decided I would, would continue, but mo nobody else in my family does it. We just use Facebook. But do you guys know the difference between a nuclear family and an extended? And what, teacher, what do you what did you upload in, in your blog? What, what kind of things did you upload there? Um, well, I'll, I'll, I can show it to you. Are you interested? Like what things that happen every day or... Yeah, like just basic. Um, uh, I think that let's see, when I first started it, it, it was Christmas of 2004. So um, this, it's, this is my blog, blog right here. Yeah, and let's see if I can go back. Um, you all weblog archives. So for example, you, you, you upload a picture in... And and you start to roll. I mean, to write the story about the picture and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Things like that. So for yeah, for like for everything this that one. To you, you go to yeah, this one, yeah. for example, um, it was right before Christmas, and I talked about how I ba I was baking something, and then this one talked about uh, the mm -hmm. finish, li uh, uh, the finish Christmas con um. Uh, traditions that I experienced that was different than the U.S. And while I lived in Finland, a lot of my blog was about um, about li living in Finland and 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 things that I did in Finland. So, like this was a. Do you think that it's a good? Do you think it's a? think it's a good idea, like uh, to assign to assign to students. Like a, a block homework, and they had to put everything that they do during the weekend. For example, it's not necessary, right? Yeah, um, there are a idea. there are teachers that do that. They actually don't use blogs. What they do is they do week they use wikis, and a wiki means mm. you can you can set up. Um, each person can have their own blog, and then everybody can read their uh, read each other's blog, and they can re respond to it. So there are uh, English teachers that do that around the world. Um, and they say, yeah. as far as as, as far as writing, uh, the theory is, is um, if a teacher has the student have the students write every day, and even if they don't look at the hand at the writing, uh, you will improve. So if you write in English every single day and no one ever sees it, in time you will improve your writing. That's what the theory is. <clears throat> Interesting to you. Yeah. So, yes. anyway, okay. We didn't. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention um, and participation in this class. And I'm sorry I got confused about the browser and a search engine and, <laughs> and so forth. <laughs> so, um, I, I, you can also um, get this this uh, worksheet from uh, the website if you haven't downloaded it yet. L let me give you the the URL for for this. Um, Please, it's on, on the chat. So uh -huh. um, okay. uh, go you. ahead and <coughs> go ahead and use that um, to, so that you can finish the exercises. The answers are at the end. So uh, thank you very much and I guess I have another class to get to. So have a good day. Yeah, and thanks. Thank thanks. Bye. Bye, -bye. Thanks. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you all. Nice Bye. to see you.